I prioritize my needs. I prioritize what I want to buy. If I want to buy a Birkin, let's say, if I want to buy Birkin, and Birkins are usually like 9K, 8K, 9K, and if I want to buy a Cartier Love Bracelet, I'm going to prioritize that over, you know, a fancy apartment that might cost 3K per month. And so prioritizing is key. Hey everyone, my name is Cherry, and my channel is focused on living the luxurious lifestyle on a budget. May sound counterintuitive, but I show you money hacks that help you achieve what you want, get what you want, get the designer things, luxurious things, without paying as much as other people. So this is my channel, and today we are going to do a breakdown on how much does it cost to live in LA. So as many of you know, living in LA is probably one of the most expensive places in the United States, if not in the whole world, because rent itself is already very high and that significantly increases the cost of living. And unfortunately, I don't have the luxury or I don't have the convenience of living at my parents' place. So I am living on my own right now at like this um, garage. Huh? It's actually a garage and I can show you a video on what the garage looks like, but currently I'm at my garage. So in order to live the luxurious lifestyle, that I want, I really believe in prioritizing. So at my current state, I just graduated in 2017, uh, May of 2017, it is very difficult for me to achieve everything. Like I can't possibly drive a sports car and live in like a really fancy apartment and buy all those luxury bags. It's just not possible. And so I prioritize my needs. I prioritize what I want to buy. If I want to buy a Birkin, let's say, if I want to buy a Birkin, and Birkins are usually like 9K, 8K, 9K, and if I want to buy a Cartier Love Bracelet, I'm going to prioritize that over, you know, a fancy apartment that might cost 3K per month. And so prioritizing is key. And so here I'm going to show you a spreadsheet of my monthly payments are. So what goes out of pocket every single month and this excludes the one-time purchases like let's say a camera or let's say a bag because obviously I don't buy a new camera and a new bag every single month but this is a brief sense of how much I spent per month and so as you can see I'm really trying to live on a tight budget because these things don't give me happiness like living in a super fancy apartment doesn't give me happiness I work a lot so it doesn't matter what kind of fancy apartment I have, I won't use their fancy facilities, I won't use their gym, I won't use their jacuzzi, I just won't enjoy these things as much. But, but for bags, I enjoy them a lot, I love the look of it, I love using them, and I just love bags in general. So that's how I stay on a budget in LA. I try to cut down on costs that doesn't bring me happiness and I try to have more money for the things that actually makes me happy. So how to live on a budget in LA. First for me, first and foremost is cut down on rent and second is drive a hybrid car. And since I work really far from where I live, it is super money efficient for me to drive a hybrid. I drive a hybrid and I love it. And honestly, when I first purchased it, I didn't realize how much I need a hybrid, but now that I drive a hybrid, I'm just like, wow, I am so thankful that I drive a hybrid, and it's also a hatchback, which means I can put the seats down and put my furniture and whatever in, and sometimes I can even sleep in my car when I'm like way too tired, so that is a convenience. So hybrid and cut down on rent, and another thing is cut down on food. So food is also a very big thing in LA. Um, I have the Amex Rose Gold card, which means I can get $10 per month, um, basically for free, for Grubhub and Cheesecake Factory and places like that. But on top of that, I also work for a company that has a cafeteria, which means I can cut down further on food costs. And food really, really adds up. Food, living, car, these three things are by far the biggest like spending factors in most people's budget in LA. So I really believe in cutting down on these three things in order to live on a budget in LA comfortably. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful. I have a lot of perks and benefits in my info box, free money and all that. Please check that out and I will see you guys next time. Bye.